Hey everybody, Ann here. I figured we'd just start the day off with some beautiful scenery and the sounds that I get to hear first thing in the morning from my porch every morning. I'd really love to know what some of those birds are. I think I could figure out a few of them, but anyway, um, Betty's about the same. She's still not herself. First thing in the morning, she doesn't like to get up early, and she likes to lay around for a little bit, and then her coordination is still off, but she's had no more seizures. So uh, when I get her in Tuesday, God willing, if I can get her seen Tuesday, um, hopefully we'll get this cleared up. I did find a tick on her last night, and it's so weird because I've been putting that spray on her, and I have this other spray that's got peppermint oil in it and whatnot, and I still found a tick on her. It was a little teeny tiny tick, but and it had just started to feed, so I got that off, and I burn it with fire. She's been eating and drinking okay. I'll show you a picture of her here in a second. But, so, I'm going to have to, I'm going to wait to talk to the vet to find out what he or she thinks is going to be the best medication to control fleas and ticks and heartworm and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've had some really good suggestions, and I've even had people offer to pay for it. So, hopefully Tuesday we'll get this sorted out. Um, I don't know that it's a tick problem. I think it's it's more either an orthopedic problem or a neurological problem, but of course I'm not a veterinarian, so anyhow, I put together some various clips for you guys today just to kind of have a look at the sights and sounds and things that uh, are on my homestead, and uh, hopefully I'll have a more proper video in a few days. This is the wood pile that the copperhead came out of, and now it is inhabited by a bunch of these little tiny lizards. They call them skinks. Some of them have red heads, some of them are just kind of brownish heads, but the blue tails are just really beautiful, and I'll show you a clip of those in a minute here. But they're fun to watch, and they seem harmless enough. Oh, look. Look, another anthill. Lovely. I wonder where this little guy's going to go. They're cute. It's only a matter of time before they get up on the porch. Bye, buddy. Yep, they're coming up on the porch. He's not even scared of me anymore. Or her. Look at that blue tail. That is a pretty cool looking thing. Look at that. I mean, I'm like right up next to it and it's not even moving. It doesn't even care. Bye, Mr. Lizard. Go! Don't come. Oh, what? Jeez! Sure is pretty, but it keeps coming back and it's starting to freak me out a little bit. See, look at how close it is to that screen door. I mean, I've got it shut all the way. I don't think I can get in. <laughs> it's trying. It's trying its hardest to get in. I have a feeling one of these days it's going to get in. So these are harmless, right guys? I mean, they're not like they won't bite you, or they're not poisonous or anything. I'm just fascinated by them. I mean, I was I grew up in the desert, um, the Mojave Desert in California, and we had all kinds of lizards. Don't remember seeing any of these, but lots of horny toads. <laughs> I wonder if I could pick it up sometime. I better I better research first to see what they are to make sure they won't hurt me. <laughs> bye bye, little friend. You'll be back. When I was in town the other day door dashing, I had to stop at my local Goodwill and my eyes were immediately drawn to this. Look at this, you guys. $12.99. I absolutely just had to have it. There was a lady standing there looking at it and she says, are you going to put baskets in that? And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. But I don't think I'm going to end up putting baskets in it. I think I'm just going to leave it open in the front. Here I was able to pull it inside, and how I pulled it inside was it was in the back of the van on its top, so the, the legs were up, and um, I got a quilt, not a quilt, an old blanket, and I put it down, and I pulled the van all the way up to the steps, the back all the way up to the steps, 
and then I just kind of lowered it down onto the blanket and then pulled it in through through the door and I did it all myself and I was very proud of myself so here it is with just a few things on it and then I've got a few more things on it so I don't know if I'm gonna leave that open or put a little curtain across the top oh yeah I've got those two coolers over there they don't keep ice cold for more than like two days three days tops but it's better than nothing so I've got all my lovely things I got my mortal and pet mortar and pestle I've got all kinds of canned goods I'm making my morning coffee got my cast iron skillet over there and that little tiny one I use to put like spoons and utensils on and whatnot to rest it on oh and look at this is this a maple leaf I've looked and it looks like it's a maple leaf uh, we've got a lot of poplar growing around here um, there's my little coffee station and pickled eggs that's my third batch of pickled eggs in that jar but everything fits in really well, and I'm going to utilize the storage space underneath a little bit better. Um, I may use baskets, I may not, I don't know, but that's just kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. Hey, Betty. Hey, sweet pea. What you doing, girlfriend? You're listening to me, but you're not even turning your head. You're like, leave me alone, Mom, please. I just want to sleep. Yeah, she's still pretty tired. Definitely something going on with this dog. I don't think I'm going to do any projects outside today. I'm just going to hang around in the tiny house. Uh, luckily, I've got plenty of ventilation and fans because it's going to get pretty warm. But just keep an eye on her. I uh, need to make some breakfast and just kind of chill out together and spend time together because I don't know, guys. I mean, I, I'm, I tend to always kind of think worst-case scenario but I just don't get a good feeling about this. So hopefully we'll get this all resolved on Tuesday, figure out what kind of flea and tick medicine is the best for her, and maybe if she's got an infection or she's got arthritis or Lyme disease or whatever, whatever it is she's got, hopefully we'll be able to get it resolved. All right, come on. You ready to go in? Come on. Good girl. She's doing pretty good, but watch this another time. Here she's up. Those back legs just have a little bit of trouble getting up those steps. I found another mushroom, and this is outside of Betty's reach, so she can't get to it. I'm going to leave it there and watch it for a few days because it looks like one of the mushrooms that I found on my old property, and they actually grew quite large. They were gem-studded puffballs, and they're delicious. They're very edible, choice edibles. Uh, I'm not sure that's what this is. I don't feel like looking it up. I'm just going to wait for a few days to see if it explodes out of a veil. If it does, then I'll know it's not a puffball. Anyhow, it looks pretty cool. I hope it is what I think it is. Just for fun, I figured I'd share a photo of me pre-van life, pre-homesteader look. Yes, I had taken my oldest granddaughter to get her hair done, and I got my hair done too. And this is before I started going completely gray. Um, I was born a blonde, but then my hair s slowly started getting darker as I grew older. And I found that dyeing my hair blonde was easier than dyeing it dark because it blends in with the gray better. So, yeah... Look at all that makeup. Oh my goodness. I don't know that I'll ever wear that much makeup again. I just don't see a use for it out here in the sticks. But it was it was the look. That's how I went to work every day when I worked as a nurse. And um, yeah, I worked as a nurse for almost 28 years. And I'm pretty much retired from nursing, doing the DoorDash thing now. But I thought you guys could get a kick out of that, just seeing what I look like prior to me moving here. So far, so good today. It's really warm outside and I washed my hair yesterday and it's a total mess. Just look at me. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, no more seizures. Uh, Betty seems to get stronger as the day goes on. And she's just over there sitting in the shade underneath the fan in the, on the cool gravel. <coughs> I hope I'm not coming down with something. I have a weird cough. Anyhow, um, so I'm just uh, biding my time, keeping my fingers crossed until Tuesday. 
I think I'm going to try and get there right when they open. Um, they open at about 7.30, so but that's just right around the time when Betty's acting weird. But that would be a good time to take her in when she's having symptoms. Yeah. So, anyhow, um, thank you for all of your love and support. I, I feel it, and um, this is going to work out. Betty's going to be, well, she's going to be fine. I think it's going to be something that I can manage, and um, I'm going to keep her around for a few more years. So, Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.